Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Now, yesterday we talked about just how uh, this replies to Judas because Peter refers to this psalm when he's speaking of Judas in Acts chapter 1. So we've looked at that yesterday, but now we're going to move on from the actual person of Judas to the wicked man more generally, the one who betrays Christ, the one who walks away from Christ, the one who doesn't believe but you know is antagonistic to the cause of God through Christ. And, and what we have in 10, actually 10 through 15, today and tomorrow, is an interesting list of things that, you know, the fate of the, of the wicked is seen here very clearly. And we're going to do some comparison contrast between the fate of the wicked and the fate of the righteous. So let me look at 10 through 12 with you. If you have your Bible open there, it's Psalm 109, beginning in verse 10. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the extortioner catch all that he hath. Let the strangers spoil his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. So these are those that rebel against Christ, and this is their fate. This is what's going to come to them unless they repent. Notice verse 10. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. So if you compare that with Psalm, let's see, I think it's Psalm 37, 25. Let's see if I can find that real quick. I had that open. Here it is. Psalm 37, 25 says, I have been young and now I am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. You see, the righteous are not forsaken, and his seed do not beg bread, but that is unlike what we have here with the wicked. The wicked man's children, they're continually vagabonds and beg. They seek their bread out of desolate places that places that don't have bread at all. We 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 see that. That's a kind of scary when you think about it. Let the extortioner catch all that he hath, and let the stranger spoil his labor. So his food and his income are prey for everyone else. And then you'll notice verse 12 says, Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Any to favor his fatherless children. Well, in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21, we find this, Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. You see, there's mercy to the righteous and to their children. The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. But you notice here, let there be none to extend mercy to him. Neither let there be any to favor. Favor and extending mercy. Those are, you know, synonymous things here. Favor. And actually, I'm sure it's probably the, actually the same Hebrew word, mercy and favor. Let there be any favor to his fatherless children, while at the same time, the righteous man's children, what are they? They have mercy. The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The wicked are not going to be unpunished. The seed of the righteous will be delivered. So you see the the fate of the, uh, the wicked is very clear here. And it's not just for him alone, but notice that it extends to his family. That's the thing that we have to always keep in mind, and and even though we might know it, sometimes we, we just don't do it. And that is that we forget that our actions have an effect, redounds upon those that are nearest us. So remember, friends, be careful of what you allow and what you disallow, because that's going to affect others. All right, well, join me again tomorrow, and we'll look at verses 13 through 15 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.